Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hearthstone. My name is Tusky and I've got a bit of a different setup today. I'm using a different computer, my microphone's in a different position, so and I have a cat stalking around my legs right now. So this may just be a complete nightmare, we'll have to find out. But I am playing Hearthstone today because... The Curse of Naxxramas has recently released the second wing. That's right, wing two of the Curse of Naxxramas, the Plague Quarter, is now available. So today we shall be doing the first boss of that, and hopefully we won't get our ass handed to us. So, let us begin with the solo adventures. We shall be facing probably, uh, if I recall Naxxramas correctly, Noth first. Noth the Plague Bringer, I believe. And we shall be using our Shaman deck as per usual. So here we go. I just have to quickly buy this. I'll be right back. Okay, we are ready. This will cost you a small amount of money or 700 gold. As you can see, I don't have 700 gold, and in fact, I have a cat yelling at me. Just one moment. Okay, now, now that the cat has been dealt with, let us play. Icky. How very exciting. So here we go. Can defeat North. Nothing can defeat North. The undisputed master of undeath. Every minion is fodder for his creations. Whenever an enemy dies, raise a 1-1 skeleton. Oh, this should be interesting. Well, let's give this a shot, shall we? Seeing how the shaman deck just does against normal mode. Against heroic mode, I've tried a couple of times and got my ass completely stomped. So, Thrall versus had to do oh, custom ones for that. Hello, North. Another soul for the collection. For Doomhammer. Okay, so here we go. Again, we are going first. I'm pretty sure that you always go first against these bosses. So we have a good turn as we as I punch the microphone. We have a good turn two and a turn three. Blood us, not so much at this point. That's an end game kind of thing. So okay, we get a turn six play. That's not so grand, but we should be able to get the fairy dragon going. So for now, we have nothing, so let's wait to see what he does. What's he going to do? Okay, he's going to get the Undertaker. That does not counter the Fairy Dragon, so I'm happy about that. I'm just going to say hello. Greetings, friend. Die, trespasser. Well, that's not very nice of him. Alright, so we'll get the Fairy Dragon out, and unlike the last wing, we shall not be dealing with so much lag this time, so I'm looking forward to that. Interesting, he's playing a Mage Secret. I wonder what that is. Now, is this going to be something from the different decks? Or is this going to be a custom secret? Well, it could be a mirror entity. It could be a vaporize. It could be an ice barrier. So I think we'll check to see if it's a mirror entity first by throwing down the harvest golem. No. Okay. Now, we've got to be careful here because when we kill this, his passive will make it... Well, uh, we'll raise it, basically. So let's just hip attack him and see what we get. Interesting. Okay, so it didn't actually trigger anything. So it's not an ice barrier, and it's not... Okay, he's going to hit me in the face again. So it's not an ice barrier, it's not a vaporizer, and it's not a mirror entity, which means it's probably a counter spell. Which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Okay, so if we... So what does this guy do? Death Rattle 1-1, one, one. okay. So we should probably... I mean, we've got to think about the fact that he's going to be summoning more minions. So I think for now... We shall, as my Steam tries to update, everything's going wrong. We shall summon the totem. What do we get? Ah, we get a taunt. Absolutely perfect. And then we shall just hit him some more, I think. I hear that rushdown decks are pretty good against North. I actually discovered the play quarter was available because of Twitter, so. I do have Twitter. Oh, of course, because my, my totem counts as a minion. Oh, and here comes the pain. I see. Okay. Okay, he actually just gave me the means to kill his ghoul, which I'm not sure why he decided to do that. But that's okay. What can we do in this situation? We could summon the Frostwolf Warlord, turn that into a 5-5, five five, and that would trade very nicely with just about everything here. So we shall smack that, which kills the ghoul, and he gets a 1-1 one, one out of it, but I get a 2-1 out of it. Oh! When a friendly minion dies, put two copies of it into your hand. Oh! Ew, I see. Okay. Well, for now then, we shall throw down the Frostwolf Warlord. So we have a nice 5-5, five, five, nice beefy minion to trade with his 1-1s. One oh, and he gets the perfect answer. Although, actually, that's not so bad for me. That's not so bad at all. I could use that to kill pretty much all of his minions. It's just going to keep hammering me in the face. So I have I have a couple of hexes on me at the moment. 
All right, Manatide Totem. I'm happy with that. So if I hit this guy with the Frostwolf Warlord, that kills it. And then I'm pretty sure that the 1-1 one, one will be spawned. And then his Death Rattle will kill everything. Oh, anyone want me to find out? Okay, so he gets one minion out of it. Okay, <laughs> I'm perfectly happy with that. And then I think we should just get the Fire Elemental out. Control the board. Get a nice 6-5. And there we go. So things are going pretty well so far. Oh! Whoa! 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 That's a hell of a removal card. It's a uh, good thing he only destroyed one minion with it. Okay, okay, what can we do? We've got a lot of spells in our hand at the moment. So I think Fro uh, Frost Shock may be a good against this 1-1 because we're at 7 mana. At this point in the game, Frost Shock isn't going to be that helpful. So we'll throw that down. And then we shall summon the Mana Tide Totem and summon another Totem. Because at this point, I just want to start getting cards in my hand to maybe find the Bloodlust. Oh, the Raid Leader comes out. That's helpful. Maybe we can kill him with Totems. Destroy your opponent's weapon. Okay. And another Flesh Eating Ghoul. That's all fine. That's all fine, in my opinion. Okay, so we get the Fire Elemental. So what can we do here? We could use the Fire Elemental's Battlecry to kill either of these. If we kill that, he gains a 1-1 one, one out of it. If we kill that, that becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Hum diddy hum diddy hum. What do I want to do? Well, I could also Raid Leader. Oh, I couldn't... I couldn't... I don't have enough mana for the Fire Elemental and the Raid Leader. In fact, I don't have enough for the Fire Elemental and the Hex, which I wanted to do. I think for now, I will kill the Ghoul. I'm happy killing the Ghoul. This is a skeleton, isn't it? Okay. So if he used that Plague again, then it would actually... wouldn't kill it. That Plague was a powerful removal card. Well, he, these are themed bosses, and this theme is very good. I love this theme so far. Okay. And Necronite comes out. I like all of these specific cards that just aren't available to players, but the minions get. Okay, he's going to Mortal Kill my 1-1. One, one. Oh my, so he's actually getting quite a big beefy board at the moment. Would appreciate a Lightning Storm, that would be nice. No, okay, so no Lightning Storm for us. What can we do in this situation? We, uh, can we kill him? That's the question. So we could get that up to 8, then 9, and then I could hit him for 18. Or we could try and control the board. That is the question. What do we do? I think we should try and rush him down. I'm just going to go for it at this point. We'll summon the Flame Tongue Totem. Oh, no, of course, because it gives the... Uh, gives the Mana Tide Totem. That as well. So actually, I think we've just won. Just straight in the face. Bang. Bang. And bang. Pretty easy. I have to say that wasn't too hard. And his voice acting is much better than it was in the original Max Ramus as well. So there we go. We have defeated North the Plaguebringer. This was just North his day. Oh, Kel'Thuzad. I cannot wait to just smack you into the ground to get you to shut up. All right, so we get the Stone Skin Gargoyle. That's very nice. Still haven't actually put any of these fancy cards into the deck yet. Okay, so that shall conclude this pretty short video. I think directly after this, we'll go straight for Hygen the Unclean. So thank you very much for watching. As always... If you have any thoughts, if you want to yell at me about my Hearthstone play, comments below or you can contact me using the links in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.